hair to his throne and bad, bad news. Bad news bears. Uh, I really wish they'd take more than that. They're probably just gonna get the stuff that Champa has, like... Isn't that really all Champa has cores on? Oh, they're actually moving in. Get out of there, Archon. Uh, they're gonna wow. die. They are getting ballsy, like... Hey, you should like that. My vassals, they're, they're literally sacrificing thousands of men for your cause. They don't have to. I'm not saying they're smart. <laughs> yep, that's what we use the vast majority. We couldn't couldn't do YouTube without Steam. I mean, we're P PC gamers. Mm-hmm. All right, Larissa, you need to keep. <laughs> you know, I don't have words. Look at India, Corey. It is well into the 1500s. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is up with that. Oh man, they're picking up speed. Corey, what are you fighting for? What am I fighting for? Yep. I want to get rid of the uh, cores on these. Divet's cores. I want Champa to break out so that I can peace out and get rid of these cores, which give 200% uh, increased uh, coring cost. So effectively, I'm trying to get Divet smaller without me actually getting the land, forcing them to release their cores, and then next I will annex them and deal with that increased coring cost on what remains. I'm just forming Hindustan. A Hindustan that I can't even fucking like see half of still. God, once I diploy Annex Arisa and Arakan, I'm gonna look so much better. And then I can actually, like, I love vassals. I love having vassals. I love having personal unions because it allows me to just get all of my cores for free. I hate waiting. And I hate not being able to go to war because aggressive expansion always bites you in the balls. Actually won that. Where are you ships? Oh, they got a cog. Woo. Uh, t -t -t -t. Yeah, we decided to get down here and do some countries that not very many people do, just because you know everybody plays Europe. Indeed. But play some countries that are out of the way see how we deal with those dirty Europeans as they come in and take all of our land uh, how long does it usually take for rebels to break out it takes it could take a long time sometimes it happens as fast sometimes it takes years uh, well I guess I better bunker down and uh, hope this is a quick process yeah, let's just really hope that they don't get their little... Your, you don't get call for peace, because if that happens, then... People are start going to start getting pissed at me, yeah. Just totally just take this piece of land. No. <laughs> you won't give me shit. Would you, would you concede defeat? No, you won't even concede defeat to me. Yeah, they're sending peace, but uh, so far, like... I don't think they're not even offering me very much it's like so whatever honestly I'll probably just take like this here Thuan Hoa and then I'll just basically have them cut off from Champa if it breaks back out <laughs> just to keep just to keep them apart like mm -hmm. two children basically uh yeah I 
I don't know. I was thinking about playing Japan. But, I mean, once again, like, if you go on YouTube, Japan is everywhere. I mean, just because Japan is a pretty powerful country. Because they're so isolated. Nobody goes that far away. And they can just beat down on the Ming constantly. I don't know what you're talking about, TJ. Nobody picks on the Ming. Yeah, I don't know how much you saw of this live stream yet, but we just picked apart the Ming piece by piece just because I lost two stability because I'm a good ally. Mm hmm. Personally, I hate dealing with the Ming's faction system. I hate that. I hate it in EU3. I hate it in EU4. <laughs> like. Sometimes you can declare war, sometimes you can't. Like, I just, I don't like it. I try and avoid the main. I don't know. I was going to play the Timurids, too. But I've never actually played a game with Vijanagar or India where I've actually gone, like, all the way through it. So, I figured, you know what? India sounds fun, and Corey decided to pick the country with the hardest name in the world to pronounce. That'd be me. I do too. No, I totally, I totally agree. I only played Japan and EU3 once. <laughs> That's all it took. Ugh, that Japan game of mine. Ugh. And any, anybody on YouTube that doesn't understand why I'm just randomly talking, this is a live stream, so I am conversing with the people in chat, so, just so everybody knows. I'm not crazy. I am, but well, not, yeah, not I was that gonna crazy. Say, that's, that's up for debate. There you go. Awesome. Okay. Dude, Champa could totally beat Divet. <laughs> okay. Like. Hmm. Just because I feel like maybe one of these wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh. Okay. Whatever. Sorry. They offered me money, so I took it. That's fine. You didn't need me. Get out of there. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, that's about good. Yes. What? 186 administrative power. Ugh. It's painful. I've spent so much on stability, I don't even care anymore. Like, oh, I'm like, gonna do it just because. I, I'm dealing with the fact that, honestly, I'm never gonna... <laughs> I'm never gonna tech up an admin at all. Or Diplo, because I'm actually getting my ideas, because I love diplomatic ideas, especially when you're playing a very, very heavy, like, vassal-oriented person. Game-changing. Yeah, at this point, I don't think there's coming back for Divet. Damn it, I hate when I have a negative opinion of somebody. Raise relations with me. Yeah, that is the most inconvenient thing, I swear. Like, I want to ally with you. Here, can you fabricate a claim on Zoo? I can try in just a second here. After I get um, done. We played quite a bit. Um, I don't know. Our YouTube channel, where we mainly upload a lot of our gameplay videos, we have a lot of diversity on there. It has become a lot of Paradox games just because, I mean, we love Paradox games. <laughs> I can't, I can't deny that. Um, 
We do have a Diablo 3 series coming out. I'm very tentative to say that because I don't know when it's coming. Because it's going to be a long one. It's going to be over a long period of time. Uh, basically, we're just going to... Just going to play 1 through 60. Multiplayer all the way through. Kind of a prequel to the new expansion they have coming out. And then we're, when Terraria, when their new patch comes out, we're going to do quite a bit. Like, the day that patch comes out, we're going to hit it hard. We're going to do quite a bit on that, too. We'll probably live stream most of that, because honestly, it's much easier to upload from Twitch than it is to record with Fraps, edit, and then upload. I didn't hear, Corey. Can you fabricate a claim on Zoo? Oh, yeah, that's right. My bad. Yeah. I can. Good. You don't have to do anything. You just have to fabricate the claim, start the war, and then I'm going to vassalize them. Yeah. Yeah, Terraria, that is an amazing game. Like, after playing Minecraft and then playing Terraria, I know this is going to start a flame war if any big Minecraft fans are out there. I personally like Terraria better just because there's more to do. Like, Minecraft, you can be more creative because, I mean, you are playing in a 3D sort of environment, but it just seems like there's more... There's a lot more content. content Terraria. Yeah. Yeah. There's, you can do so much more. Like, you're not just building. You can also, you know, go fight bosses, like, all day long. I mean, you can play on hard mode. Like, it's awesome. Oh, Muscovy is one ugly blob. Oh, no. I got a claim on some of Divet's land. That's useful. <sighs> yes, that is another big plus of Terraria. What's that? You can see underground. Ah, yes. How is that claim coming, Corey? I'm, I'm very anxious. Um... is Hainan, right? Yes. Uh, we are looking at... Come on. 30% done. I don't know. I was, I was all like, I'm just gonna freaking attack them, and I'm gonna force my religion on them so I can vassalize them, and then I'm like, wait, why don't I just freaking vassalize them in the war? I don't know, as soon as I get one more claim on uh, Champa, I will go to war with them and annex them. And then, next war with Divet, I'll probably uh, take maybe two more of their provinces and make them get rid of like three of their cores. Oh, unless Ming comes in and just, like, destroys them. Corey. What? Look at India one more time real quick. God, you can't even really help me with my wars over there. So I'm going to go to war with Juan, or Juan Poor. But I don't know... Uh, you can see most of them. Because once I'm done Diplo annexing Arisia, I'm going to go crazy into India. Nice. So I can start connecting up my lands a little bit. Okay, I got those cord. Sitting at... Oh, 45%. Just got set back. Damn it. You have one job. And we can call this even for me taking a two stability hel hit helping you in that Ming war. You managed to claim some stuff. Yeah, I got four pieces of land and a couple hundred ducats. Yeah, honestly, going into the war like that was probably better for you than just coming in, like, normally, in terms of, like, progressing yourself. Because, like, I couldn't take anything from Ming. 
because they were not um, able to be, or they weren't letting Asa negotiate on their behalf. Oh yeah. Ugh, I need to get some of the cores done. Pretty soon here, gonna have to go to war with Ming again. I still need one province from him. They have a Psalm, those dirty mother truckers. Ah, <laughs> oh, and they're converting it to frickin' Buddhist. Damn. Confucian, not Buddhist. I will frickin' kill you. Fabricate claim, Assam. Holy shit, Confucian. Has that always been that big? Uh, well, yeah, I think Ming's been Confucian since the beginning. I don't know why all these countries are like converting to Sunni in my area. Shit, so I take that. And I to release cores. Uh, Get out of there. Why am I spending so much money supporting frickin' Tartar patriots in Muscovy? <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Why am I doing it? Like, I just feel I have all this money I can just throw at problem. That's not even a problem, actually. It's just money I feel I can throw around. <laughs> God, all these level 3 guys, like, I want a level 2 or a level 1. Yeah, I have one level 2 guy, and I'm working on, I want another level 2 guy, because I'm making, making about 10 a month. You know what, I'm not even going to bother calling anybody into this. Yeah, Corey. Just, just for our viewers' enjoyment, you should turn back on religious map mode and zoom out. Why am I doing this now? Just for viewer ah, enjoyment. Viewer enjoyment, okay. God, that is awful. I know, I totally feel you. Turn it back off. <laughs> That's awful. That's awful. <clears throat> Who are your allies? Just me? Um, what other allies do you freaking need? I got Bhutan <laughs> fucking AI allied with them when I had to hot join one of those times. I really wish you would take Bhutan out of your alliance because I'm afraid they're gonna bum rush Zoo. With their zero troops, Bhutan has zero troops. I don't see any. What the hell? How can how can a country survive with no military? It, its standing army is usually two thousand. Ming, what the hell are you doing? Just go for it. Oh, you probably have the stupid faction where you can't do anything. I don't know. They just took someone dive vet. Yeah. Oh. They did. And uh, somebody's sieging some of Zoo. Son of a bitch. It's Ming. Ming. See Zoo? Alright. You don't have to do anything. I will take care of this. Okay. I'm assuming I'm at war with Zoo. Yes, I am. <laughs> I just got you in a war with, like, England or something. Shit, I took a T. <laughs> you can't even see India, why would you be able to see England? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not worried about you getting me in a war with England. <laughs> Don't you dare get me in a war with England. <laughs> I 
I don't even know if I want to vassalize you anymore, Zoo. Freaking mate is just gonna annex you. This is stupid. I'll land in Hainan first, or Hainan, or however you say it. And I will free. I will, you know what, Ming? I should just declare war on you because. Actually, I'm already fabricating a claim. I'll bring you into the Minganese War. The great in the Ming confrontation of 15 something. It is amazing being in India. Like, I went to go build level 3 forts because why not? I already have a ton of level 3 forts. <laughs> Okay, my boats are way out of supply range over here. Um, why did you not freaking pick up the troops? How did you not pick up the troops? I attached them, the symbol was there. Oh, how do you stream on Twitch? You explain it, Igor, you're the streamer person. Um... Well, we use a uh, program called Open Broadcaster Software, I think. Um, OBS. Yeah. Yes, OBS for short. Um, and basically, like, you have, like, a code on your Twitch account that you can put into OBS, and you can just set up streaming that way. It's really simple, actually. Like... I haven't done it enough that I could just like tell you how to do it right here. Obviously, you can tell I didn't know what the hell I was talking about to the most part, but um, yeah, like all you have to do is download OBS and you can set it up through there. Didn't take me too long to figure it out. Yeah, there's there's a lot of really good guides online as well. Yeah. And I would definitely uh, recommend OBS over, like, XSplit, unless you're going to put money into it. Jesus. They are sieging faster than me. Them bastards. Oh my god. Oh, I'm an idiot. I freaking hate rebel hunting sometimes. What happened? Uh... Hold on. I... Have... I can't, I can't talk when I'm trying to do a bunch of stuff at once. <laughs> <laughs> I have Rebel stomping on. And... Um... So when I put them on the boats... Fucking stability. When I put them on the boats, they just get right back off. That's why they weren't on the boats. Well, they just went back into Jeanpour. They went into Jeanpour? Some rebels. They were oh, in your... Hindu, yeah, Hindu Zealots. But the problem is, they're not my Hindu Zealots. Oh, they're Archons. Fuck yeah, Archon. Let's freaking do this. Get Jeanpour. That's your only job. You know what? I'll even help support rebels. Hindu national. Or Hindu zealots. Yeah. Let's freaking give them all of my money. Just make them strong. I want to see crazy zealots everywhere. This is a long boat trip. Wait, what? I'm losing money? When the hell did that shit start? I mean, it doesn't really matter. I can pay back a loan, but it's a little upsetting to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course you have no leader. coalition against me again let them do it. let them come at us yeah I, I dare them 
I'm not in a good position right now, but Ooh, I will be. Dangerously high, 80%. Yeah, that is pretty damn high. What's... Oh, overextension? Yeah. It's because that freaking Thwan Hoa is just taking forever to core. Fucking divet. How much is it? How much overextension is that even worth? Mmm. Let's see here. Vijaya and Padrangu are actually the two big ones. Well, at least, like, you had claim. Which ones did you have claims on before you did this? Uh. Vijaya and Pandaranga. Well, I mean, that significantly reduces scoring costs. I mean, that's a plus. Yes. Okay, why did I all of a sudden get kicked in the nuts? Oh, reinforcements. Okay. Actually, no, it wasn't Vijaya. It was uh, Amaravati. But, yeah, oh well. Save up for Vijaya. I. Uh, I want to go to war with the Ming. How many troops do you have, Ming? You have forty-eight thousand. We obviously did not break you hard enough. <laughs> they are gonna bounce back every time. I don't know what you are like even thinking. We're gonna manage to do to like. The problem is they just have so much money. <laughs> Japan, I think it's time we have a sit down. I really want to be your Oh friend. man, Ming insulted us. Them bastards. They can, I don't even think they have the faction where they can go to war, because they would have declared war on me. If yes, everyone's dying. Just everyone. But no, um, I'm trying to make friends with Japan, because they're, they're going pretty ham. Yeah. So, and they have the opinion of like on me or whatever. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Permanent cause spelling on other government types? I would love that. It's a chance when I wasn't watching like this actually became possible. Nope. And uh Oh, converting? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I need a. Uh... God, I just. No, I'm not gonna get any diplomatic power. Yeah, Japan, you need to really focus on your own shit. I mean, you're con. You're con oh, I guess you're diplo annexing everything, so. Never mind, you're doing good, Japan. Good job. Good job, Japan. Proud of you. Sorrible scum on you. I didn't do anything! <laughs> All that happened is Ming took the land! <laughs> On me? That's kinda funny. I didn't do anything! <laughs> Whatever, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I'm gonna go to war with Ming, then you'll see dishonorable scum. Yeah, when we go to war with Ming, I think that's gonna be fun. I'm actually only gonna take one province. I'm just gonna rob their coffers. Yeah. Here's the deal, Ming. Me and you, you and me. We got we got some talking to do. Well, we're both kind of at the point where we can stand toe to toe with Ming. So. I guess I could train more troops. What is I my force? Train limit? some my more, but yeah. my force limit's not that high. You know what? I'm gonna train more. I need more troops anyway. Yes. Yes. Happy day. What happened? Beautiful. My king died. <laughs> now I got a five five six. Oh. Can you like put me in a personal union for a little while? <laughs> uh. Like I'll break out just, just for a little while. Okay, I need to keep supporting rebels here because they'd all go to my little personal union person. Plus, 
we need them to convert their government type to Hindu anyway. <laughs> they can't even kill him. That's 